And like Thanos snapped his finger, the month of January is already done. Football is already about to enter into the Super Bowl next month. The Royal Rumble is gone. Everything is happening so fast. In 2024, I feel like New Year was just not too long ago, you know? But today, I wanted to talk to y'all about kids. Now, I want to say this. To all the parents out there um, who actually, you know, want to, who actually are doing their job and actually parenting, I want to give them a round of applause. You know, give them a round of applause because parenting is actually hard. It, I'm not a parent myself, but I just know that shit is hard. Um, because especially when you have multiple kids, you know, it, it's just like you see them grow up before your eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like they just grow up fast. And then you kind of like try to guide them through life while also making them see life through their own lens. You know what I'm saying? They have to go through it themselves. But your advice doesn't help. I mean, your advice is helpful. You know what I'm saying? At least, you know what I'm saying? At least try to put your two cents in and help them guide through it. You know, they're, you know, trying to help them through certain experiences and just seeing them just like, just go through life for that first uh, words when they walk, things like that. And that could be, you know, there, there's some happiness to that. You know what I'm saying? Seeing a, a baby smile and seeing a baby laugh and just seeing them go through, go, go through the motions, you know what I mean? You know, the, the crying is not really, you know, it's not really a, a thing you want to hear, but it's a part of it, you know what I mean? Like, uh, for two people to come together and make it happen, I mean, that's what you signed up for, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, like, that's that's just pretty hard to think about, like, I don't know if I would be able to do that, like, even as a kid, I was like, man, I don't want kids, because it's just, I don't know, I just feel like that, that type of situation is just not for me. I know I'm still young, um, and, like, things might change in the, in the future, but I don't know, man. I just don't think that's for me, man. Like, I don't. Like, it, it's not even because it's just hard. It's just like, I just don't think that having a kid is uh, in my plans. You know what I mean? And like I said, I'm still young. You know, future. Who knows what the future holds or whatever. Um, I want to talk about the... Like, just having a baby is just crazy, man. Like... It's just crazy, especially uh, kids nowadays. That's another thing too. Having a baby in this day and age is uh, it's something. <laughs> it's something because uh, you know when I was when I was growing up. Uh, I know that sounds crazy because I'm not really that. I'm not really old, but the way that I grew up versus how these kids are growing up now are completely different. Um, you know, a lot of kids now they. Um, they kind of just grow up on the iPad and everything, you know, they call them iPad kids or whatever. They grow up on their iPads, they on the iPad all day. They don't, they don't uh, talk to people. And mind you, like, when I was a kid, I was pretty quiet too, but, you know, like, I don't really have, uh, I used to have, like, uh, social anxiety, but it wasn't to the point where I couldn't talk to anybody. At least I would attempt to it. And, like, I still get anxious now, but I, it's not really social anxiety. It's just, you know, I just get anxious. I don't really have a problem with conversing with people. You just got to do it. You know what I mean? These kids are not able to do that because they grew up during, you know, the virus situation. So they was in the crib and they missed out on pivotal years in their life. You know, as a little kid, like, you know, you're supposed to like communicating with others and classmates and stuff. That's like a big part of like growing up especially during that time in school like that's a that's a big part so like them missing out on that is very like messed up you know what i mean and like you know them being ipad kids and uh being on tiktok and all the media all day so they're getting the propaganda spread all across their minds you know um, i made a point on this in one of my last videos they they're doing bad in school like they can't read can't do nothing like it's it, it really does suck and it's like you know when I was a kid like technology 
like when I was growing up, technology was in the process of growing. So it's like, I didn't, I didn't have an iPad when I was a kid. I had the, uh, I had toys, and Thompson Train, Hot Wheels, Nerf guns, and all that shit. Um, you know, uh, I had the fucking, you know, little scribble thing that you had with the, uh, I forgot what that shit called. Uh, yeah, like different shit like that. Um, you know, the wrestlers, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't get my first phone until, uh, after my eighth grade graduation or my eighth grade ribbon pinning. So, like, I know what it's like to not go go with a phone. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have a phone for a good minute until I didn't, yeah, I didn't get a phone until I was like 14, 15. So, I know what it's like to not have a phone as a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, I know how to live without that shit, bro. Like, yeah, I played the game and shit. Like, I was, I was outside as a kid, too. You know, I was pretty introverted, so I was in the house. But, like, I, I went outside, though, like, played in the dirt and shit. You know what I'm saying? I lived with my, you know, my granny and my OG and shit. You know, my, I went back and forth. Shit, sh- long story short. Um, yeah, they just don't, they be in the house as a kid. It's like, I wasn't, I wasn't the most motherfucker that was outside all day. But, like, you know, I went. And... You know, not being able to talk to people and just being on the internet all day is not good for you. And, you know, I've I've had my moments. Everybody in Gen Z has their moments where they're scrolling on their phones too long and it's just like, it, it just drains you. Because you could have been doing other shit that was productive. You know what I'm saying? And uh, another reason why it's hard, it's hard to raise kids now is that the economy is different, you know what I mean? Like, everything is fucking high. Like, everything is high now, man. So, having a kid in these times, hey, good luck, bro. Motherfuckers be having two jobs, and they still be struggling. So, it's like, damn. <laughs> it's like, damn, bro. Like, And I feel like another reason why uh, parenting is a little harder now is because people around my age are having kids or like late millennials are having kids and they don't know what it takes to be a parent so like they they're they're in the fire but they don't know how to like really manage it so like our parents like they you know maybe there, there are situations in life where people have kids at a young age you know, younger than they were supposed to. Maybe they had it in high school or maybe they just wasn't ready at all. And in some cases, having kids will make you uh, have a different mindset and get get on your shit. You know what I'm saying? Make you grow up faster because you kind of need to because you like this is this is your time to start growing up because you're a parent now. You have some people who step up to the plate and then you have some people who don't. Which is why we have people who are deadbeats. And which is unfortunate because me personally, if, if I knew that I had a kid out there, I could never just leave my kid out there without my support because that's a part of me. So I don't know how people are able to, you know, granted, I understand, you know, certain situations, you and the other person are not getting along or, you know, they not letting you see them, which is another thing too. But if it's just a point where you just ran away, that sucks. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, there are instances where, you know, like back in the day, like people, you know, they would get probably was getting pregnant early and, you know, they had to get on their shit and motherfuckers were stepping up to the plate and the people who did, they tried their best. Uh, it wasn't perfect, but, you know, they, they tried, you know, Oh, you know, and you just hope for change later on, you know, or as fast as they can, you know what I mean? Um, but now I feel like a lot of people who are having kids now, they're not ready. And because they're not ready, these kids are not prepared. And, you know, it's a dark time, you know, with the, the virus and everything. Um, it's just, it, it's, it's just, it's pretty sad. Um, 
I'm trying to think about what I was about to say. So, yeah. So, basically, like, kids, like, late millennials and my generation, we're still growing up and we're still processing life for what it is. And life is moving so fast that it's, like, kind of hard to process it uh, at the rate that it's, it's moving. And, like, like I said, with all of the situations going on with, like, the economy, everything is so high, like, and people are struggling we're still trying to scramble ourselves so with us having kids it's like damn like i don't know how i'm gonna do this you know what i mean and in in a situation where two people consensually make it happen and they turn out to have a baby i feel like they just you know it's 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 hard to to it's hard to make that change now like that mental change because a lot of people around my age are not mentally strong as far as like moving through life day by day now don't get me wrong mental health is important you know I have my ups and my downs but my generation is known to give up um, it's ironic for me saying this since I just dropped out of college. Um, but yeah, they're known to give up. Um, and, you know, like I said, I'm going to be honest, in my generation, there is some dummies. And a lot of the dummies are having babies. <laughs> a lot of the dummies in my generation are having babies because, you know, everybody knows... Um, once you get into high school, they're kind of having them earlier now, like middle school. I've heard some shit crazy. But once you get to that high school situation, that's where it starts to get to that, where people are having babies pretty early because dudes are thinking with their dick and not their, their brains. And girls are kind of just, they're both horny. So they're just trying to have sex. They, they're excited to have sex because the hormones is going crazy. And niggas trying to brag about fucking hoes. Like, y'all know how it go, man. If y'all been to high school, man, y'all know how it go. It's the difference between talking about sex in middle school versus talking about sex in high school. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers in high school really get into it. You know, they get into the business. Middle school, I don't know. In my middle school, my, my elementary middle school, I don't know if niggas is really doing that. Maybe, maybe not, but I don't think so. High school is a whole nother game plan. I heard motherfuckers get pregnant and some more shit. Like, I got have, I have friends who are uh, pregnant or who've had kids. And, um, you know, and I'm not talking about my friends because, you know, they, they do what they do. But I'm talking about Gen Z or just like the society as a whole when having kids right now. It's, uh, you know, people are having kids too fast because they're thinking with their genitals and not their, their brains. So they're not thinking about using protection. And y'all know what that leads to. Either babies or STDs or both. So here's a lesson for you. To all of my supporters, especially high school, middle school, you. Because it, it, after high school, like, even in high school, like, you should know, like... You should already know the game plan, but if you don't know, if you are in a situation where you're about to do what you got to do, if you are about to have sex or if you're about to have any type of intercourse, please use protection. If you don't want any kids, use protection. Make sure you are strapped up. Make sure that condom is strong. If that bitch break midway, I need you to go put on another one. <laughs> like... Don't even like fuck around, man. If you really don't want to have no kids, man, don't don't even fuck around, man. Like, like make sure you got, make sure you the rubber man for real, like. And like, ladies, like you know what I'm saying. Make sure you make sure you use any type of protection you can. Like, try not to get any STDs or anything like that, man. I just want y'all to be safe out here, man. I don't want y'all to get into a situation y'all don't want to be in. So, you know, make sure it's consensual. You know what I'm saying? Don't force yourself onto people because that's weird and you'll go to jail. Um, you know, don't be a weird motherfucker, bro. Don't 
Don't be a weird motherfucker. Um, um, so you won't have to be a registered weirdo. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, yeah, like a lot of kids, you know, a lot of kids are my age that are getting pregnant and having babies and stuff, and they're still growing up. And, you know, you can't be on TikTok all day if you got a kid, you know what I mean? Like, you got to get your shit together. And I feel like a lot of people my age that are having kids are not willing to be there with their kid. Like, to the point where if my mama was annoyed by me, she either going to tell me, go play the game or something, or go play with your toys. Mind your business, all of that shit. You know, my grandma would tell me the same thing. She like, these kids now... They're not playing with toys anymore. They're playing with their iPads. And their iPads consist of YouTube videos and TikToks. Um, I think you rarely see educational shits on their iPads. I'm not saying it never happens, but I think it doesn't happen enough because there's no reason why kids nowadays can't read, on, especially on their grade level. Like... That, that doesn't make sense. Like, granted, when we were in school, there were kids who needed a little more help. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the situation. This is nonsense, though. There shouldn't be the point where everybody in the class can't do it. You know what I mean? Or at least most of the people in the class can't do it. Especially if it's not a special ed class. You know what I mean? If it's a regular class where motherfuckers should know what the fuck is going on. You shouldn't have most of your class not be able to read. Especially when they're in like middle school and they can't read on the elementary school level. And they're just passing them just to pass. That's not okay. And you know, I'll be watching these YouTube. I, I've watched YouTube videos of people talking about Gen Alpha and how like the YouTube videos that they be watching is just like some random shit. Like, this is one thing that I heard. It was like skibbity toilet. I don't even know what the fuck that is, bro. Like, I've heard about it and I've seen like what the what the thing, like a picture of it, but I, I, I never watched the video of it. Like, I don't know what that is. You know, it's, 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 not, it's not for me to know, I guess. But people are watching stuff like that and uh, you know, the, all the t- TikTok, I don't even be on TikTok. I had a TikTok, but that was like when I was posting content on there. I never scrolled through TikTok or anything like that. I'm not really a media guy for real, for real. Um, ironic because I do YouTube, but um, yeah, it's just a bunch of random shit going on on the media and they just, just feeding it into their brain as they scroll, you know, and it kind of sucks because uh, we didn't have that problem as a kid, man. Like, like, worst case scenario for us was flash games with, with guns in them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, all we did was listen to music and play flash games in the computer lab at school or at the crib if we had a computer. And just played the game. Like, I ain't, I don't know, man. Like, it's, it's rough. And, like, a lot of parents are not watching what they, like, they not seeing what their kids are actually watching on uh, on on their iPads or what they're actually doing on their iPads. And that's why you see videos of people, like, luring little kids through messages on, like, certain websites and stuff because their parents are not watching them on, like, while they're on these websites or while they're doing certain things. That's why I like when... You be like when you, when you got uh, black parents, right, and they open your door, or they tell you don't close the door, something like that, you be like, damn, like, what's going on? But then you realize, like, damn, I kind of see why, because these kids be wildin', bro. They be in some shit that they don't need to be in and shit like that. So it be like, I and I understand. But, yeah, like, they be on, the, like, their iPad just be full of nonsense, like... Like, there's no reason for them to know more TikTok dances than their ABCs and one two threes. Why can't you read me a paragraph out of a book? But you you letting this AI read this sentence on TikTok. Like, what's... It ain't making no sense, you know what I mean? 
it's not making any sense but it's like your parent the parent is doing the exact same thing you know so it fall it, it falls on the parent you know but also it's like if the kid doesn't really know that they're kind of like left out you know what I mean so it's kind of a double edged sword because if they're not on TikTok and stuff they're kind of left left out but if, when they're on it they're just like every other kid in a bad way you know what I mean you know my generation they're still using TikTok and all of that stuff and Twitter and all of that and I don't want to offend anybody because I'm not trying to but um with the media being how it is now my kid could potentially as a toddler while it's scrolling through TikTok and all that stuff and all the media and Twitter and everything which they shouldn't be on Twitter but you know how it is with my kid being as young as they are you know elementary school middle school whatever my kid it seems like nowadays my kid has a better chance of understanding pronouns before reading before being able to read a paragraph in a book and i'm not trying to disrespect anybody's pronouns or anything but my kid shouldn't be able to necessarily they shouldn't, they shouldn't really be like caring about stuff like that and political views more than being able to read a story out of, read a story out of their uh, class. You know what I mean? Because that's all. Political views are everywhere. They're literally everywhere. Uh, gender stuff is everywhere. Um, all this propaganda stuff is everywhere. And you know, kids are easily influenced and they get consumed by this stuff. So it's like. It feels like it makes the kids' priorities and like wrong. You know what I mean? They they got the wrong priorities. You know what I mean? Like my kid, my kid could potentially know more TikTok dances and who's beefing with who more than their times tables. You know what I mean? Like you can't tell me your times tables, but you could tell me Drake and Kanye got beef. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> it's nonsense, man. It's nonsense. And, you know, now you have to worry about... You try to you try to have your daughter be in the best position that she can be so she can actually try to have a career instead of being an OnlyFans model. You want your son to be out here so he won't... You know, you try to try your best for your son to be out here and be the best that he can be so he won't be the person who buys the OnlyFans subscription. Or he won't do no scamming or no bullshit, you know what I'm saying? You know, you want them to have good lives, but, like, there's so many ways for their lives to go left in this world now. Like, it's bad. It's really bad, man. This world is, a, uh, it's something, man. And for these kids to be growing up in this situation, man, I kind of feel bad for them, you know? Because their parents aren't all the way there mentally as far as like and I'm not saying all parents are like that like all parents much and I'm just saying like you could tell if a lot of the kids are this way like you know um you know the kids more know they know more about skibbity toilet than their that's man um yeah that's crazy that's crazy um yeah that's that's wild. That's that's crazy. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I feel bad for these kids, man. I didn't have to worry about all of this stuff. All I did was play with my toys and play flash games and PS2 and all of that. I didn't really have to deal with nothing. I used to climb trees and play in the dirt and shit like that. You know, play with the you know, chill with the homies and shit. Yeah, this this isn't. I, I don't. Hey, man, I just wish them the best, honestly. Like, you know, I just wish for better parenting, wish for better, you know, your children to be in a better space. You know, what I'm saying, learn manners, 
learn how to talk to people. Um, you know, they're living they're living in a society right now where the world the world is the the world is funny, man, because they're we're at a point where they're the most sensitive yet unsensitive. It's like they're sensitive about everything, yet they're sensitive about they're sensitive about nothing. So you you will see something like a person to make a joke. Everybody gets offended, but then you have that side where they're not offended and they'll probably take it too far. You know, they'll probably make the joke even worse. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this situation now is a uh, this generation is more of a. Well, this, this era of society is more of like uh, the saying, it only it's only funny when it's not towards you. So like, you can laugh at everything else, but as soon as the joke is uh, targeted towards you, now it's not funny anymore. And a comedian's job is to literally talk about people, make fun of people, you know what I mean? Yeah, the jokes might be hurtful. Yeah, they might be. But some of them don't even be that bad, you know what I mean? Like. You didn't hear way worse back in the day. You know what I'm saying? And people get offended by little things. Also, people worry about the wrong... People priorities be messed up and they be offended by the wrong things. People be worried... People be looking at the news and be worried about the wrong news. Somebody could die. Somebody... Somebody, uh, somebody can die one day, right? Which is every day. Somebody could die. And... People will brush it off. But if somebody make a joke about some, you know, towards any type of community, boy, is it going crazy. I could say, I could say some, you know, some crazy, I could say some shit that ain't even that crazy. It might be a little crazy, but it ain't that crazy. And it will go viral because a motherfucker is offended. Or a motherfucker just can lie on you. You know what I'm saying? A motherfucker can lie on you about everything and then it could just spread like like rumors in high school, literally. Um Yeah, it's it's weird, man. Like like a comedian can't even do his job because everything is taken so seriously now. Everybody don't nobody wanna laugh at their at themselves. That's the thing, nobody wants to laugh at themselves anymore. Everybody takes themselves too seriously. Um yeah, that, that job is probably going to be over with in the future. If you're not Dave Chappelle or Cat Williams, man. <laughs> like, can't be making them type of jokes. Um, and they still be trying to get get them out of that butt. Mm. But yeah, um, back to what I was saying. Parenting is pretty hard. This generation of kids I feel bad for. I really wish the best for them. Because, uh... Gen Z was kind of like the start of their downfall, and Gen Alpha was kind of like make like it's man, it's bad, it's bad, bro. I'll say after the year I was born, it was after the year I was born, it was it was the downfall, and I was I was born in um I was born in '03, so after '03 it was like. I feel like 03 was like the cut, like the cut off, the real deal cut off. Cause you know you got the 90s babies, and you got the early 2000s kids. After 2003, I think it's uh, it's time to wrap it up in a sense. You know what I mean? Cause I want y'all to realize something. Kids born in 2008, I'm pretty sure they're about to graduate high school. In a minute. No, no, no. Kids more than 2005 or six are about to graduate high school. That's crazy. But yeah. That's the end of the video, man. Uh, if you don't want to have kids and you're not ready, be safe. Because um, life is hard and so is parenting.